Hi there friends, welcome back to Miss Corb's Corner for some more asynchronous fun. So I have the five minute Bernstein Bear Stories treasury and I picked out one of my favorites. Um, so it's the Bernstein Bears and the Big Spelling Bee. So what I'd like you to do is after you listen to me read this, I'd like you to create your very own spelling bee list. And then just like they do in the spelling bee, I want you to say the word, spell it out with the letters, and use it in a sentence, all right? The Berenstein Bears and the Big Spelling Bee. Brother and Sister Bear were good students. They both liked subjects like math and science and history. Sister was a very good speller too. Gwen, a classmate of Sister's who won the Big School Spelling Bee last year, was expected to win again, but then something surprising happened one day. First, there was class spelling bees, which led to the big school spelling bee. Now everybody, stand at your seats, said Teacher Jane. I'll give out the words, and you'll try and spell them. If you get a word right, you remain standing and wait for your next turn. But if you spell it wrong, you sit down. Soon everyone in the class, except Gwen and Sister, was sitting down. Sister couldn't believe she was now tied with Gwen, the best speller in the class. Treachery, said Teacher Jane, an act of betrayal. Treachery, said Glenn, Gwen. T-R-E-C-H-E-R-Y, treachery. That is incorrect, said Teacher Jane. Please sit down. Teacher Jane turned to Sister. She was the last one standing. Treachery, said Teacher Jane, an act of betrayal. Treachery, said Sister. T-R-E-A-C-H-E-R-Y. Treachery. That is correct, said Teacher Jane. Congratulations. You will represent our class in the school spelling bee next Tuesday in the auditorium. By the time Sister got home, the whole family knew she had won the big spelling bee. Papa was especially excited about it. Congratulations, sister, said Papa. If you win the spelling bee, you'll go to the big all school spelling bee in the Bear City. But sister hadn't realized that. Now, here's what we're going to do, said Papa. Mama sided over to Papa and in a lower voice he said, dear, she said, dear, can I speak to you for a moment? She took him by the arm and led him into the dining room. Now, Papa, said Mama. I know you're proud of sister. I am too, but you mustn't get carried away and put too much pressure on her. Me? Carried away? Ridiculous, protested Papa. Besides, sister can handle the pressure. She takes after me. Then Papa went back into the living room. Oh dear, said Mama. Now sister, said Papa, here's what we're going to do. First, I'm going to go up into the attic and get my old vocabulary list from school. Then we're going to drill, drill, drill until your letter perfect in every word. Papa headed up to the attic. The lists took some finding, but Papa found them. Meanwhile, downstairs, there was a knock on the door. Sister answered it. It was L Lizzie and Jill. Can you come over and play after supper? I'm afraid not, girls, said Papa, who had come down from the attic with his vocabulary lists. Sister and I are going to be busy preparing for the school spelling bee. The way I see it, we've got a good chance of going to the all schools spelling bee in Big Bear City. Papa was as good as his word. Every evening after school, he drilled sister on vocabulary words. Destitute, without money. Destitute, said sister. D-E-S-T-I-T-U-T-E. -T -T -E. Paramount, said Papa. The uppermost or highest. Paramount, said sister. P-A-R-A-M-O-U-N-T. Prehistoric, said papa. Of that period before recorded history. Prehistoric, said sister. P-R-E-H-I-S-T-O-R-I-C. It was Tuesday and the spelling bee was underway. The contestants were up on the stage and there was seven of them. The auditorium was filled with cubs and parents. Papa was there, of course. He was rooting for sister like crazy. Mr. Honeycomb, the school principal, was giving out the words. 
The words were like rockets going off and exploding into bad spelling that knocked out the contestants one by one. It was down to two cubs, sister and a fifth grader, vicarious, said Mr. Honeycomb, taking undue pleasure from the achievement of others. Vicarious, said the fifth grader. B-I-C-C-A-R-I-E-S-S, -S, vicarious. That's incorrect, said Mr. Honeycomb. He turned to sister, who was the last cub standing. Vicarious, thought Papa out in the audience. Taking undue pleasure from the achievements of others. Good grief, that's exactly what I'm doing. Vicarious, said Mr. Honeycomb. Taking undue pleasure from the achievements of others. Vicarious, said sister. B-I-C-A-R-I-O-U-S, vicarious. Correct, Mr. cried Mr. Honeycomb, which means that Sister Bear will be going to the all-school spelling bee in Big Bear City. Sister got a standing ovation, except from Papa, who remained seated. How about a little victory snack at the Burger Bear, said Mama, as they left the school. Fine, said Papa. Sure thing, said Brother. Sister didn't say anything. She was lost in thought. Er, Papa, she said. I don't know how to say this. I don't want to disappoint you. But I don't want to go to the all-school spelling bee in Big Bear City. I just want to go to school and play soccer and do fun things with my friends. Disappoint me, said Papa. You could never disappoint me. In fact, I'm very proud of you for having the courage to stand up for yourself. Tell you what, why don't you just take off and play with your friends? And that's what she did. The end. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait to see what words end up on your list. Bye.